My partner has pulled over a car just up here. Just you in the truck? Yeah. No, no, for the side, buddy. This is safe. Wait, hey, 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 hey. what's going on guys welcome back to the channel i i just got this on my desk literally literally not too long ago maybe like two three four minutes ago shout out to my subscriber for sending this to me and bless him man i'm, I'm just I, I don't know i know the loads out here is garbage I've, I've been watching the broker boards i've been watching my man on tiktok talking about these garbage ass loads it's just unfortunate that you guys gonna have to put your cdl on the line to make some money such as this driver right here that just got pulled over now for some odd reason he claims that he didn't know what was in the box but of, of course he probably did maybe he didn't want to know maybe he just said here put the box in the back i, I don't want to know what's in there no more wasting time let's get it hold on my partner has pulled over a car just up here just you in the truck yeah no no for the side buddy this is safe Wait. Hey, 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 is that your stuff? Uh, no. No? This is your tractor though, right? Yeah, this is my thing. Sorry, a little nervous about what you got in there? Uh, no, I don't know, sir. Oh, no, please. I can do it. Okay. Do you, need, um, do you need an ambulance? Do you feel like you need an ambulance? Or do you uh, feel all right now? Uh -huh. Chris, you want to give me a hand? What the fuck? What's in there? Uh, I don't know, sir. All right, how do you, you down, right? Uh, don't, don't pass out again, right? No, uh -huh. yeah. I'll make it quick. No Separate your feet. Okay, have a seat again. No. Have a seat. No. Have a seat. Hey, he's passing out again, Jose. It's okay. Relax. Relax. It is what it is. Based on my training experience, we have a kilo. Minimum 50 kilos here. An average price of 30,000 a kilo. You multiply by that 50, that's how much money. You, you got to know the load that you're driving because that load that you're driving could get you in trouble such as what happened to this guy here he knew he was in trouble he he, he just knew it he tried to fake feigning almost knocked himself out but he claims that he didn't know what was in the boxes they pulled out bricks of cocaine or or heroin or methamphetamine could have been anything in there he probably could have got sick from the fumes too because it was up in the cab with him like in the cab so drivers i know it's rough i know it's hard but come on man your it, it is your cdl worth it somebody offer you an exuberant amount of cash to smuggle drugs people unfortunate things that, that you're taking penitentiary chances i know it's rough out there drivers they say it's going to get better but i honestly don't know because these these brokers they're giving you bs loads they're giving you 33,000 mile loads for like fifteen hundred dollars they're giving you loads like 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 maybe 1500 miles right for like seven eight hundred dollars with multiple stops attached that's crazy brokers is giving you loads that's going from the east coast pickup all the way up to the west coast they're giving you loads from down south florida all the way over to texas all the way over to california all the way up to minnesota the dakotas for garbage amounts man then y'all have to to settle for smuggling drugs people and all sorts of stuff to make some good money whose fault is it man i, I know you guys gonna say it's the fault of the people that's taking cheap loads but can you really fault them can you i i put it on the brokers i really do and and double brokering right they broker the load for the amount of that they got then they're gonna double broker it to you to chop it down some more 
Maybe the first broker that they got that low from, they did probably got 10, maybe nine, maybe $7,000 from them. And then gonna broker it down to you for like, for like 15. Your operating costs and your fuel is only gonna net you a profit of pennies. Pennies. Think about that. Think about that, drivers. When you decide to go into the owner op route because some guru or some trucking personnel or some trucking insta influencers influenced you into getting your own truck, you got to know the business first. You got to understand what's going to, what you're going to need to run that truck. And if you don't understand that, then I suggest you watch this video because this man literally lost his freedom, lost his CDLs, all because the money in trucking for him just wasn't there.